These cold mornings have me craving a nice hot breakfast in the morning, but sometimes I just don't have time to make a good hot breakfast. So one thing I like to do is make my breakfast on the weekend and have it last for a few days into the week. And one way I can do it is by making a baked oatmeal using steel cut oats. They're so good for you, full of fiber. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to just put this together and stick it in the oven and forget about it for an hour. I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees. I've got one cup of steel, coat, steel cut oats all measured out, ready to go, and some frozen cherries and frozen blueberries and a little bit of um, cinnamon to spice it up a little bit. So first of all, I've got my nine by 13 inch glass baking dish and I'm just gonna give it a little spray with, um, well, I'm using coconut oil, but just grease it a little bit with whatever you prefer, just to keep it from sticking to the dish when it bakes. And then I'm just going to sprinkle in my one cup of steel cut oats. And you know, when you cook them on the stove top, they really take a long time to cook. And that's why a lot of times we choose not to use them. So it's another great reason to put them into this baked oatmeal. I've got two teaspoons of cinnamon that I've just added, and I'm gonna add just a pinch of salt. And I'll give that a little bit of a stir to kind of mix the oats with the cinnamon especially. And then I'm going to add four cups or one quart of milk. Just mix it up a little bit and then one cup of frozen cherries. And I like to cut them in half, sometimes even quarter them because I like to have more cherries in each little spoonful of oatmeal that I put into my mouth. And then one cup of frozen blueberries. And this fruit doesn't need to be thawed out first. You can put it in frozen. Just give it a stir and that's all there is to it. Put it in the oven for one hour. You don't need to stir it, you can just forget about it. And after an hour, you can eat it right away or let it cool and you can either cut it into squares or scoop it right into bowls that you'll be heating up later. And I have some in my bowl and you can see that the cherries and the blueberries turn this oatmeal a really nice shade of purple. I've topped mine today with some bananas and toasted cashews and toasted coconut, and it's ready to go. You can add a little more milk to it when you're eating it. It's delicious and it's brimming with antioxidant power. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.